the persons bringing up uh, literature dharalam vaikunna shakespeare okke tharavana absolutely pinne ippolthe kutigalarum pudhiya sana onnu literary humanities um thodunu polu illa avaru absolutely ivar angane le ivare a bringing up il thanne avaru literature vaikunna palapolu avaru oru chele oru points of crisis varuna samayathu she is finding solace in many of the quoting from shakespeare yeah yeah ദെൻ അതുപോലെ തന്നെ ഒരുപാട് അക്കാലത്തുണ്ടായിട്ടുള്ള പുതിയ പുതിയ സബ്ജക്റ്റിനെ കുറിച്ചുള്ളതാണെങ്കിലും ശരി വേൾഡ് വൈഡായിട്ടുള്ള ലിറ്റർ ഇപ്പോൾ സോമർസെറ്റ് മോഹൻ വായിക്കുന്ന കാര്യം പറയുന്നുണ്ട് അതിൽ പിന്നെ എന്നെ അത്ഭുതപ്പെടുത്തിയ ഒരു കാര്യം സുകുമാരന് സുകുമാരന് ഗോൾഡൻ ബോ എന്ന് കൊണ്ടുകൊടുത്തു ഫ്രേസറിന്റെ ഗോൾഡൻ ബോ അറ്റ് ദ ടൈം സുകുമാരന് yeah to her nieces to her brothers see this brother in law suman was also her cousin so you know her father's sister's son so she already knew him very well even before he married uh, kausalya so her choice and i mean she comes from uh, when you say privilege it was not uh, it was uh, much after the golden years of the divan bahadur her father mm-hmm. ivan badri kishan much after that she in fact it's after a pradabo ellam poi kaiyappalana janigi undavunathu than pakshe it's not about that privilege but it's about the cultural privilege that she was born into she was uh, you know she and her siblings inherited this amazing library that ek krishnan had built up ek krishnan in fact you know ek krishnan was he said i actually had another 250 pages in my book which should have make it's already unwieldy you can't go to bed with it for instance um so that had to be taken away from this book and hopefully that will become a, a new book um this is on tm modernity and talking about janaki and her her love for literature she always as i've said in my so the first chapter is a kind of sort of i have to i've had to sort of take away all this wonderful detailing that's there in this uh, the modernity and this kind of life that she was born into the kind of literature that she was exposed to the kind of books that were in uh, ek krishnan's uh, library i mean I, i wish i had that kind of uh, thing i mean everything has been my father certainly played a an important role in this this uh, you know introducing me to plants and other things but for janaki her she was she already had a library on the first day i mean can you imagine a house where there is a, a devoted space for books which is so modern i like so modern you have revolving book stands you have some fumigation uh, apparatus there which sort of takes away all these book worms and moths and things to stuff like that in this very tropic humid conditions and he had shelves and other collections on the tables we talking of such a modern man ele apo the kind of the modernity i'm speaking of i i shouldn't be giving away actually uh, is actually speaking about the the role played by judiciary unlike today's judiciary which we are seeing which is the the kind of poverty that we see today cultural poverty that we see today and the kind of judiciary that existed then which actually was the fount of modernity in fact modern literature is a child of the kind of enlightened judiciary that existed then whether you talk about chandumena or you talk about anything so ek krishnan was not into writing creative writing though chandumena was very influenced by krishnan Chandumena was far younger to Krishna and in fact it's Krishna who introduces Chandumena into English literature because <laughs> he was so well read he was so well read if you look at the kind of books that Krishna read and this is not restricted to one kind of literature he would read of course he would read law journals he would have he would import he would he would have uh, them sent from England he would have all kinds of journals he read philosophy and he read sanskritam so he was he was grounded in both indian philosophy and western philosophy he attended lectures often he would come back and write notes about these lectures at brennan that he attended he would keep journals such a modern thing 
journals from he actually kept he he's the Connolly Arthur Connolly, uh, you know, medal winner when he was at school, completely self-taught, and so when he finishes his equivalent to the tenth standard, he's given this Connolly medal, and Connolly was just murdered just a couple of years before. As um, an independent researcher, yeah. What has been your kind of intellectual <laughs> autobiography, or the kind of work you trajectory yeah. diversified yeah. into? Apadu vetyastha oru sondra kavyasagan nalla nalleli vetyastha atlo vishengle kotla a oru a vadi inda na inda nalla valare korthu nammalu korthu samengle nu visi biri. Oh yeah, madeni ke so very oru baad. Which part is some side game, but in the do question and which I will keep it, um, you know, to the minimum. Ende oru interest to just I'm just talking about the themes that have interested me. Let's let's keep it with that, you know, keep it to that. But themes in the varneyali material culture in the varne in the ni kiru oru oru I have always. In retrospect, uh, I realized that the material culture of anything becomes very important. science science and the history in the science and the material basis becomes important. And history of science and the discipline in the if you look at India, you know, history of science in India, no People are talking about the history of institutions, scientific institutions. Then it's still science in the world. I'll carry it in the temperament in the evolution. Very nil. Um, science in a curchilla. Other number of institutional history, um, other than political developments, um, alingil, other than what leads to the establishment of institutions and. Who are these institution builders? Ne kurcha ke aana na mukhi institution. Oru biography poolum institution builders ne kurcha ta aana na mala sadharana ka aana nu. And I have taken a non-institutional builder as my subject. So that is the fundamental break I'm making. She was no star because she was no Baba, no not even Meghna sa or a Mahal Navis so. Who are they? You know, or a C. V. Raman, or a Subramani Chandrasekhar. Subramani Chandrasekhar is a different man. But itteram itteram mili stars onnu alla. She never has an. There is no institution in her name. Jari endo institution a shokandam barani to oru sondam nelele oru 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 horthus malabarikasna bilikyan agre ondaarena oru oru a shok a shoga vanam Sita Janaki na kevala akathile ondaakiye oru. Um, some kind of a microcosm of the Western Ghats flora, which is what she was intending. And to also set up a small lab, she could do some chromosomal investigations. There is This is more like a hermitage. You know, she, yep. she thinks like that. She's not some kind of a national institution builder. So that's fundamental. Who are outliers? Who are people on the margins? Who are people in the boundaries? To me, they are more exciting, and I'm more interested in um, the material culture of science, not in institutions. I'm not an institution in policy. I'm not interested in these policy making things, which is history of science. No, I'm only me policy making. Anna, everything is like looking looking at things like the state. State in the country. In the ana, in all of the ana, history of science in the barney, pogun the what goes in the in the name of history of science is is purely that. And now my interest is not in that. My interest is in perhaps even looking at some micro histories of science, where you might even have an individual or a group of individuals or even an object, like a fossil, for instance, like the Shivalik fossils which I worked on. Or or meteorites, which are anomalous objects because they don't belong to the earth, they don't belong to the, they come from the skies. How do you make sense of anomalous objects of of of, of that kind? So, itteram itteram objects, which I I I I think that material basis of science 
is actually my starting point. I, I, I like how people manipulate material and create knowledge. Or Arjun Napadari Varanwala, social life for the material, yeah, social, social scientific. Social <laughs> life of objects, they've, they've got a life of their own. Um, you know, if I spoke about philosophers, I'm speaking about people like Michel Serre, people who are, or like Latour, who are talking about these non-human agents of knowledge, of science. So my interest is really quite anti-anthropocentric kind of approach that I have with understanding science in the making. It's about science in the making. I'm less interested in finished science. I'm not interested in some kind of seminal discovery or some science which has already been done and then becomes uh, sort of, you can just sort of use it like currency. You know, some science that's already done and ready-made and finished, black boxed, you know, to use. So my interest in unpacking that black box is in trying to see, trying to retrace these sort of, these messy traces of doing science, which is really about material, which is actually manipulating material. C.V. Raman science is thought of as some kind of a big science. I would think C.V. Raman science is really small science, which is why, to me, he's very interesting. And I think C.V. Raman has not been seen that way because he won the Nobel. He himself says he spent a mere less than 200 rupees to get the Nobel. So. <laughs> We're talking of small science, micro-level science. At the same time, it's global. So there is a kind of approach to my way of studying science, which is, which is a kind of a global micro-history, which is what I have done with the Janaki book. The kind of, um, I mean, in a nutshell, an anarchic, you know, uh, way of uh, looking at the uh, anarchic a history of, of science. A kind of, uh, a kind of, uh, a decentralized way of looking at science, you know, where I'm trying to look at where authorities like the Royal Society, authorities which bestow a certain a kind of label to this science is some, something to look up to, or this is the science which is going to save the world, which the Nobel Committee does. So certain kinds of sciences are being, are being, Toted as the science. This is science. But there are so many other kinds of sciences equally worth it. Yeah. This, so, this emphasis on the, uh, the methodology, yeah, you know, like a fair so event was. Laboratory. So the laboratory becomes the kind of crucial site to think and look for science. So that's again married to big science today. So there's a lot of pumping of money in it. So the, the person. The, the, uh, the researchers attached to a certain lab, say in the TIFR, is actually doing research on a problem which has been given to the person by the person who's got funding to run a lab. So <laughs> a lab of my own is what their ambition is. When I get my lab, I will get a, a, a tribe of slave researchers who would get funding, PhD funding, who would then serve me by actually working on the experiments I want them to set up. They don't work on their problems. We've lost the time and space to look back and ask myself, no, is this what, I'm, what am I doing? This is somebody else's question, somebody else's experiment. But I'm going to be doing this. So I'm going to wait my lab and I'm going to do the same, right? So this is what is happening today. So you've got slaves. So you've got, but there's so much that's happening on the field. Everything is lab center. There's so much that's, that was happening at a hybrid space like the museum. The museum is a hybrid space. So my interest has been on boundary spaces, boundary careers, boundary objects. Boundary individuals. And let me ask you one thing about since we have talked about the museum. Yes. He is a museum. 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 He is a 
വാട്ട് വുഡ് യു ഒബ്സേർവ് ലൈക്ക് നമ്മുടെ പല മ്യൂസിയവും ഇങ്ങനെ ഇങ്ങനെയുള്ള ഒബ്ജെക്ട്സ് ഉള്ളതുണ്ട് പക്ഷേ ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് നോട്ട് അട്രാക്റ്റിംഗ് പീപ്പിൾ ആൻഡ് ഇറ്റ് ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് നത്തിങ് ദാറ്റ് ഈസ് ആ ഐഡിയ മാറിയിട്ടുണ്ടോ അല്ലാതെ ഈ ഇൻ്റർപ്രിറ്റേഷൻ ഒരു കാര്യമുണ്ട് ഞാൻ ഐ എം നോട്ട് ഇൻട്രസ്റ്റ് ഇൻ ടുഡേസ് മ്യൂസിയം കേട്ടോ ഇന്നത്തെ ഒരു മ്യൂസിയംസ് എന്നുള്ളത് ഒരു ഐ എം നോട്ട് ഗെറ്റിംഗ് ഇൻ ടു ദറ്റ് പോളിസി മേക്കിംഗ് തിങ് എനിക്ക് അത് എങ്ങനെ ഇരിക്കണം മ്യൂസിയം അല്ലെങ്കിൽ മ്യൂസിയത്തിന് ഗുണമുണ്ടോ ഇല്ലയോ എന്ന് എനിക്ക് പറയാനുള്ള ഐ എം നെവർ എനിക്ക് ആ വേൾഡിൽ ഐ ഡോൺ എക്സിസ്റ്റ് ബിക്കോസ് ഐ എം അവേ ഫ്രം ദാറ്റ് മൈ ഇൻട്രസ്റ്റ് വാട്ട് ഈസ് മൈ ഇൻട്രസ്റ്റ് ഇൻ മ്യൂസിയം നോട്ട് ദ ഇൻസ്റ്റിറ്റ്യൂഷൻ പെർ സെ മൈ മൈ ഐ എം നോട്ട് നോട്ട് ഡൂയിങ് മൈ ഹിസ്റ്ററി ഓഫ് ദ മദ്രാസ് മ്യൂസിയം ഹിസ്റ്ററി ഓഫ് ദ ഇന്ത്യൻ മ്യൂസിയം കാൽക്കട്ട അങ്ങനെയല്ല അപ്പം ഞാൻ ചെയ്യുന്നത് എന്താണെന്ന് വെച്ചാൽ ഐ ട്രൈ ടു അണ്ടർസ്റ്റാൻഡ് ഈ മ്യൂസിയം ഇപ്പിസ്റ്റമി എന്നും പറഞ്ഞിട്ട് ഞാനൊരു കാര്യം പറയുന്നത് അതൊരു മ്യൂസിയം വേ ഓഫ് മേക്കിംഗ് നോളജ് ലാബിൽ നമ്മൾ ഒരു തരം നോളജ് പ്രൊഡ്യൂസ് ചെയ്യും ഒരു തരം നോളജ് ഫീൽഡ് വിൽ ഹാവ് സെർട്ടൻ കൈൻഡ്സ് ഓഫ് നോളജ് ഫോംസ് ദറ്റ് ആർ പ്രൊഡ്യൂസ് ഫ്രം ദ ഫീൽഡ് ഹൈബ്രിഡ് സ്പേസസ് പ്രൊഡ്യൂസ് എ ഗ്യാൻ ഇപ്പം ഈ മ്യൂസിയം എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് ഒരു കംപ്ലീറ്റ്ലി unstudied i'm talking of the indian museum the museum in india when i say indian i'm not speaking speaking of any specific museum but the museum as an epistemic space has never been studied apo museum there is a way of making knowledge by first of all forming collections and these forming collections then grouping then taxonomy there is a taxonomy apo idirakku this is actually a way of producing knowledge apo my argument or my uh, my what my thesis really is about is india la nammude ee sciences in the history nokiyal thanne they actually emerged from the museum epistemy the lab um adu idu onnu alla museum epistemy nanu namukku ee anthropology ayil anthropology is something very guessable you think ah anthropology ethnography adu okke use it nanu nammal pakshe idu mathramalla sociology ayil economics ayil botany zoology yeah, yeah. name it even biochemistry all of this are emerging from that within that museum epistemy that museum epistemy does not need to exist only in a museum institution the collection spirit uh, yeah, but it it is it is a way of doing science apo adu und ende oru interest nan berodeyle oru kalathu i studied art history so a samayathu uh, when i began to do a doctoral thesis up but i was i was embarking on it my interest again was material culture so i i'm looking back okay in hindsight i'm saying so i i am i'm happy there was some continuity in what i have been doing so some kind of method in the madness i would think so apa barodil nan ende or interest was looking at the world fairs world exhibitions so our world exhibitions and all our source nammal tap edite illa adu It, it's a series of them a series of them you start with the crystal palace 1851 to you go on 1924 you go to wembley and all but yeah, the other kedile there are lots of others 19 so 24 so, no this 23, is the, i know i would like to nertha chochu chodhi aitla connection adana this that was a time there was a time when we used to have museums and also there was a time we start having a lot of exhibitions so idil yeah. oru I'll tell, you, I'll tell you what the connection is. I'll tell you what that connection is. The thing is, it goes like this. If you have a world fair, a Crystal Palace world fair exhibition, or the France 1855 Paris exhibition, what happens is, being a colony, so Britain exhibits at the uh, world fair exposition, will get objects from its various colonies. So, in India, it's like, ഇപ്പം പെട്ടെന്ന് ഇന്ത്യ എന്ന് ഒരു കളക്ഷൻ എന്ന് പറയാൻ പറ്റില്ല അപ്പം ആദ്യം ലോക്കൽ കളക്ഷൻസ് അപ്പം ആ ലോക്കൽ കളക്ഷൻസ് ആണ് ലോക്കൽ അഗ്രികൾച്ചർ എക്സിബിഷൻസ് ആയിട്ടും ഇൻഡസ്ട്രിയൽ എക്സിബിഷൻസ് ആയിട്ടും ഒക്കെ വരുന്നത് അതിനകത്ത് ലൈഫ് സ്റ്റോക്ക് ഉണ്ട് പലതും ഉണ്ട് അപ്പം വണ്ടർഫുൾ സോഴ്സ് ആണ് നമുക്കൊരു ഹിസ്റ്ററി ഹിസ്റ്റോറിയൻ ഓഫ് സയൻസെ സംബന്ധിച്ച് ഹിസ്റ്ററി ഓഫ് ടെക്നോളജി ആയാലും വിച്ച് എവർ ആസ്പെക്ട് യു വോണ്ട് ടു യു വോണ്ട് ടു ഡു ഇക്കോളജി വട്ട് എവർ ഇറ്റ് ഇസ് ഐ തിങ്ക് വൺ ഓഫ് ദി അൺടാപ്റ്റ് റിസോഴ്സസ് ഹെസ് ബിൻ the world fair material appo adinathi local exhibitions le vannu cheyunna chela technologies allengil certain objects which are prepared allengil value added stuff illengil geology anengil geology the kind of stuff that is brought in for exhibit they they may have been just recently mined some of those 
the aluminium thing, for example, the history of bauxite mining, aluminium, history of aluminium, if you were to do that, you could just go back to, from the, the exhibitions, the world fairs, local exhibitions taken to the world fairs, or even if it did not, then you had other exhibitions which did not, were not connected to the world fair, but these exhibits, after the exhibition was over, it would go to the local museum. So that's how your Madras Museum or you know, all your local museums start collecting its material. So, history you it will take you to unexpected areas. For example, like the fine arts, the, the crafts, school of, school of arts and crafts, uh, Madras. Like rare Which is not something that you would expect. Monocyte and eliminate. Yeah, being, other, yeah. Other, of course. So, Ipam monocyte, having mentioned monocyte, I'm just trying to take it back to Janaki, is that, so, we, we, we already know about, uh, we, Ram has uh, written a, a piece also on, um, on, 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 on monocyte mining, Tramco Sands. Uh, what Janaki, it, it just interests Janaki, the interest starts off, you know, at, at the Baba Atomic Research yeah, Centre, where she, she spends mm. Trombi, she spends a very brief uh, period um, just before she comes to Madras. She retires uh, to Madras, the Centre for Advanced Studies in Botany. She is spending time there with Gopala Ingar, here Gopala Ingar, and she's making use of the gamma bed radiation, the radiation beds. So she, there is a group there already working on the monazite sands, and you have Grunberg is already doing some work on mono, background background radiation of the monazite yeah. sands. So she is interested in, in getting some of her plants to flower. So she's trying to use irradiation to get some of, particularly Saccharum Z yeah. hybrid to flower by doing, you know, by irradiating it with gamma rays. So she uses this, this particular group working there on she connects her work to the plants growing on the monazite sands. So, Adile, natural light mutation, not known to She's very interested in looking at that kind of material, which is actually quite risky for a person of, you know, she was, she was much older at that point. I mean, our background in the archiving, archiving culture. Uh, story so they are allocated some funds to record because there is no you know the usual trend is you know I've been trying to do some work on other certain other individuals letters I was very lucky I mean when I talk about sources, Nyan, why take in there? Where did you, some another researcher who was trying to work on Janaki? She wrote an article or two. And then she said that I can't say anything more because there's no material available at all. Yeah, this was done in 2015 or 2016 or some I have nothing, there's nothing more because there's no material. So I would say to the contrary, I've got material still pouring, still, which I have not incorporated into my book. Um, so material uh, has been, I've been very lucky with material when it came to Janaki. Not that they were easy to find. Pakshe, onnu thodengi vachapiridhe ke nikki adhu ola material. Uru vali, uru kumbharan dhani nikki gitti. Janaki ida bhaagatna, enikki Janaki ida kaila valare korsha unda arunnu. Adhu nyan palari idhilum source eda dhana. Korsha letters baakki gada ponda arunnu. Adhu mostly to do with 70s. Um, which is good because 70s was pretty uh, barren for me. Because it's so much more recent. What exactly she did, I wasn't able to. But to the end of when the book was done, 
I think for the 70s, I was able to say exactly each day in the Anujani ki jayi in the bolu in ki parayam bati. In the no chala, I managed to find her, her kind of e. Madras University ke kodi kena reports under lo. Namke itren gaashe accounts ko kodi lo. Reimbursement ina. Apa itren jaay kodi chadi itren. Alengi le inna the bolu vaynati ina. Chala sheri ke kodi chadi bus ina itren. इत बोले इर्द है ना अदा इत पर्सन लाइक फर्स्ट स्टैंड स्टेचर यूजीसी के आने के लिए मद्रास यूनिवर्सिटी के आने के लिए ये अकाउंट सबमिशन है ना एस ए प्रिंसिपल इन्वेस्टिगेटर शाह उरे अकाउंट्स ही तो ना वो कितने गायरिंग लोग रिबार्ड उठते हैं बच्चे इन्ने डेट ने इन्ने स्थालता है � but I think the auditory is so important. It's an experience we've lost totally about everybody. We don't have an auditory experience. We don't have a visual. We don't have a visual. We don't have a visual. But Janaki, I didn't have that issue because all her siblings were ace camera people. They all had a camera. They all had a camera. And they all loved taking pictures. Especially Forrester brother Krishnan. Janiki herself took pictures in the 70s when she was working on the tribes. She herself was taken pictures and I've got pictures of some of them. Uh, I don't know if they're perhaps two or three are in this book. Um, so archiving is something that is so important. I think that there is a general trend in India to our personal everyday in public Nampalah itu nasibik ya. Nampalah itu ni pun angin itu, itu says a love letter. Say I get a love letter when I was whenever. Apa al love letter ada ar kung kahana kahana itu. Alenggil a ini itu journal la jani ini dekun ada aring kahana itu. Pinne peringgil a aringgil mau pita na historian alenggil a you know amrit sociologist or somebody wants to reconstruct your life. You want to be careful that you want to know all this. I'm sure Janaki was that way too. Ennal polu nama kita kandu pedikya mana allah dah ane jani Janaki buku ini kandu cewa kena. Alre important dia lori achievement dia ni ane in the summer weekend we are really happy about it and. I think. Uh, Thank you very will, much, and I just hope more people will be able to read it. Thanks a lot for taking a lot of time to talk to us. Oh, it's my pleasure. <laughs>